Welcome to Medicare for All Explained. This podcast will enlighten our listeners and dispel the distortions that surround Medicare for All. Medicare for All Explained is produced in collaboration with Physicians for a National Health Program and is hosted and produced by Joe Sparks. I'm your host, Joe Sparks. This is episode 77, The Healthcare Skin in the Game Myth. In this episode, I discuss why the assumption that people need to have skin in the game in healthcare is false and harmful to getting medical care. So what does skin in the game mean? It's an assumption that unless people have to put some of their own resources in something, they will overuse that something. For example, suppose I win unlimited free pizza for a year. Since I have no skin in the game, The assumption is that I would be ordering pizza morning, noon, and night, and I admit that if I won free pizza, I would be ordering a lot more pizza. Now, if I have to pay for that pizza, I probably would not order it as much since I now have skin in the game. Of course, when you have to pay for something, part of the issue is how much you have to pay for it and the other alternatives. So, if my pizza was cheaper relative to other foods, I still would probably be eating a lot more pizza. And if I thought other foods were a better value, I would be eating more of those other foods. As we shall see, though, healthcare is not like other consumer products. Back in 2008, a then pharmaceutical CEO came up with a horrendously bad idea. He hypothesized that the reason the United States healthcare costs were so much more expensive than other countries was that the American people were hypochondriacs and spending money for frivolous and unnecessary health care. His solution was to make Americans have skin in the game, or in other words, have Americans pay more for their health care. As an aside, this would also increase profit for health insurance companies. This CEO thought that this would cause Americans to become smart consumers of health care and they would stop spending money on frivolous health care. This horrendously bad idea was based on several faulty assumptions and there are actual counterexamples that prove this idea is absolutely wrong. Now let's start with the faulty assumptions. I don't know anyone who goes to the doctor frivolously and the very small amount who mind are statistically insignificant, as I will show later. Second, having skin in the game assumes that you can shop around and find the lowest price. That may work with cars and pizza, but it doesn't work with healthcare. Suppose you need hip surgery. Let's assume you have several options where to go with your insurance, and you find the lowest price. Something could go wrong during the surgery, and another hospital might have been the cheaper choice. Third, you can't always predict the care you might need. Suppose you have a heart attack. You are not going to tell your significant other to wait to call the ambulance while you call to find the lowest price. Fourth, the skin in the game idea assumes that you want the lowest price. But price is not always the only criteria. There's an old joke. What does an astronaut think right before liftoff? This rocket was built by the lowest bidder. Fifth, it is time-consuming to find this information, and sometimes it's not even available. For example, I have tried to get cost information for my medications. I have sometimes been given bad information. It's very annoying to go to a store thinking they are the cheapest, only to discover that the clerk gave me the price for six pills instead of 30, and the cost for 30 was outrageous. Recently, when I tried this, I went to several stores. One store told me they couldn't get me a cost estimate without a prescription. I was finally able to get a few estimates, but I had to leave a list of medications and wait a bit. One store called me, another prepared the list while I did some other shopping. Needless to say, it was tedious and time-consuming. 
I did find out if you don't have insurance, one store was substantially cheaper than the others. But I checked only a few stores. Some people may not have the time to do these comparisons. Research has shown that sometimes it's very hard or impossible to compare prices for a variety of reasons. Finally, research has shown that skin in the game causes people to avoid care. The Federal Reserve's report on the economic well-being of U.S. households in 2019 through May 2020 reported, quote, 25% of adults skip medical care, such as a visit to the doctor or dentist in 2019, because they were unable to afford the cost, and 22% incurred a major unexpected medical expense during the year, end quote. Now, before you discover that you know more cuss words than you thought while wasting your time trying to check this information, remember that the idea that you need skin in the game is totally bogus. We merely have to check all the other wealthy nations that have national health programs. Some have no out-of-pocket expenses, and some have minimal out-of-pocket expenses. If skin in the game mattered, then every other wealthy country should have higher health care costs than the U.S. because so many of their citizens would be using unnecessary and frivolous health care. Yet these countries, with their national health programs, spend about half of what the U.S. spends on health care and have better overall health outcomes. I want to share something one of my brothers said. I was discussing skin in the game with him and saying it's ridiculous. His response was, Gee, honey, I have nothing to do today. I think I'll go get a colonoscopy. As this and my previous evidence shows, people seek medical care when they need to. People already have skin in the game when it comes to their health. And extra costs don't change that. They just prevent people from getting the care that they need. There's another piece that I think doesn't get discussed enough. In 1983, give or take a year or two, I went to an event where several Soviet Union emigres discussed why they immigrated to America. They had stopped in Austria on their way to America. They talked about how in Austria, they wanted to immediately go to the stores because they were so well stocked. They were afraid that by the end of the day, the store shelves would be empty. Their guides explained that stores in the West were well stocked, and if a store was out of something, you could find something else to use. These emigres soon learned this was true. When I came out of that event, I thought to myself that the Soviet Union would collapse since it wasn't meeting the needs of its people. It took several years, but it did finally happen. I have the same thought about our healthcare system. Eventually, our healthcare system will collapse because it's not meeting our needs. Hopefully, we will go to a single payer system sooner rather than later to end the pain, suffering, and death caused by our current healthcare system. In the meantime, it's time to drop skin in the game from our healthcare system. It is harmful and useless. Of course, if the doctors and hospitals start supplying free pizza, then all bets are off. Thank you for listening. You have been listening to Medicare for All Explained. Remember to tell your family, friends, and colleagues about this podcast. Information about Medicare for All Explained can be found at our website, medicareforallexplained.org. The music for this show is Super Bubbly by Jesse Spillane. The logo was created by Lily Sparks. Thank you for listening.